We have 100% loss of every single tree on our property. Jesse Zeman's property and the landscape around it are forever changed. The steep hillsides just outside of West Kelowna are dotted with blackened trees that jut out of the earth like burnt matchsticks. We come out here sometimes and play soccer in the yard and hang out and walk around and um, yeah, it's not easy. Although the sky is filled with storm clouds today, one year ago it was thick grey smoke. Fueled by strong winds and extreme heat, the McDougall Creek fire became an unstoppable force of destruction, torching nearly 200 properties as residents watched in horror from a distance. It looked like the fire had crested the hill and was coming down the mountain behind us and um, we figured around 6 o'clock or 6.30 is when our house burned down. The past year has been a trying one for Zeman and many others who lost their homes. While the rebuild has started for some, many more are still waiting in limbo. Our insurance process has been extremely challenging. Um, we have some neighbours that, you know, have been able to get back to rebuilding really quickly and then we have some neighbours that have really struggled um, getting, you know, dealing with their insurance company and I guess we're one of them because we haven't been able to start rebuilding. So, yeah, very challenging for sure. Anique de Goyer also lost her home. Well, it is, um, it is a bit surreal that it's been a year. Um, it, um, it doesn't seem like it that long, and then in some respects it seems like a lot longer. Not far away, this bare lot is where Anique's house once stood. <laughs> this spring, we visited the lot owned by Anique and her husband Rob. He's a firefighter who spent weeks fighting the blaze last summer. We were standing right about where we stored our kayaks that we'd built uh, from scratch. Oh, 15 years ago. On this anniversary, there's still not much sign of progress for their rebuild. There are so many steps, and yeah, I mean, we didn't know anything about that as well at the beginning, but every time you sort of think you've got all the boxes checked, something else happens, and it, it's just the process that has to happen, but it is, um, yeah, it's a lot more than we thought. Despite the slow pace of progress here, Jesse Zeman hopes we are at a turning point for how we approach fires in BC. Jasper was a wake-up call, Lytton was a wake-up call, Kelowna 20 years ago was a wake-up call, and we have to invest in prevention and mitigation. He hopes the hard lessons learned here in West Kelowna really none of us are safe from wildfire. Won't be easily forgotten. Brady Strachan, CBC News, West Kelowna.